So, the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle Qualifier, Leg 3, Race 22. Thanks for those calls from Cheltenham Martin. So, the three miles and all to 120 handicap. Equator, Paul Road, Swindy Home, James Shea, Climbing Shadows, Craig Beckwith, Billy Bottom Tapper for Thomas Rogers, Akean Byrne for Martin Leadham, Tomenko Gift for Darren Thompson, Ernest Stavinsky for Paul Rhodes, Winchester for Daniel French, Nothing Much for Ryan Costello, Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers, and Cirque for Martin Leader, Make Up 11. All looking to qualify for the Week 10's Cheltenham Festival. Star's got him all way here. Wait for him to settle down. You're at Fakenham. If you've never been to Fakenham, you've never been anywhere. So as they all start settling down, it's Equator that's going to lead us. It's the first of eight flights. We'll skip over that. Bit of a slow jump at the rear by Thomas Rogers. Biddy Bottom Tapper. Returning horse from last year. It's Equator that's going to lead us from Akburn. Akan Burn. Should I say in Cirque? Two horses from Martin Leader. That's such a yellow cap. The outside of that is Swindy Home. Why the still is Ernest Stavinsky. Prepetus Climbing Shadows. Jungle Apparent and Winchester. It's to Menko Gift as we skip over the second. And just wide here is nothing much. Billy Bottom Tapper bringing up the rear. So Equator leads us by about five. Down to the third. It's Equator. Run the shadows. Serves with the home back here and burn. Stavinsky still on the outside. The half back to Tomeko get against the fence. Skip over the third and it takes it well with the bottom tap still a bit slow. It's got another five flights to take. Still over two miles to run. It's a pointer that's happily bowling along in front. Run that five to Sir Climb and Shadow Swing behind that can burn and Ernest Stavinsky together. Chester to make a gift. Nothing much out wide. You see him running away from us here. We've got him tapper. So inside the final two miles. We've done a mile now. It's still Equator that leads us. So Equator by five. Climbing shadows and surf. A can of burn. Swindy hole. Stavinsky. This has pretty much been the race since the beginning. Three groups, leader on his own. And the rear group just being led by Winchester for then French. And inside Joe of Apparent. He got to the fourth and halfway through the flights. One or two get really poorly there was Ernest Stavinsky. To, to a group on his own. We come past the grandstand here. Circuit to go in a mile and a half to travel. Still equator. Five or six to climb in the shadows. Swindy home again. Burn and Cirque. Just a length back to Ernest Stavinsky. He settled all race. Bobbing around and back towards the, the chase first of the chasing packs. And a length and a half back to Jovial Apparent and Winchester. Why nothing much. Let's skip over the fifth. Against the fence, the Joker apparent and Billy Bolton tap to the front of bringing up the rear. But we're getting a little bit closer order now, though. The equator then got a two length advantage now from Swindy Home and Ake and Burn. Between those horses is climbing shadows. And then it's back to Cirk and Ernest Stavinsky making up a little bit of ground again. Winchester, away from the, chasing, the rear chasing pack, we get a bit closer. It's Equator, gets to the six, skips it well, gets away from it better than anything. It's a two length advantage from Swindy Home and Ernest Stavinsky on the outside, settling a little bit better now. And then Eke and Burn climbing shadows and Cirque. There's still Equator from Swindy Home, Ernest Stavinsky, Eke and Burn climbing shadows and Cirque. Went back to Winchester, Billy Bobby Tapp has moved up to challenge a little bit there to make a gift joke to parent and nothing much. So as they swing left handed, six furlongs left to run. Just two to take. And over the penultimate. One takes it well. Four jump to the rear by nothing much. Nothing much in that jump. 
this equator. By a length and a half to Swindy Home, Ernest Stavinsky out wide. Wider still climbing shadows in between those is Ekan, Ben, and Sirk. As they run downhill now, as we come down to the final half, and it's equator from Swindy Home. Ernest Stavinsky wide, Sirk and Ekan Burn have sat there prettily. Climbing shadows under a little bit of pressure, moving well now on the outside is Tomanko Gift making up a lot of ground, towing along Billy Bob and Tapper with him, but it's Equator that's still got the lead, but he's going to be challenged now inside the final half mile, and it's Equator, Tomanko Gift making up great ground on his far outside, and it's Equator and Tomanko Gift, Billy Bob and Tapper running on, Swindy Home doesn't look like he's got a lot left, but it's Equator going to be joined here by Tomanko Gift, so it's Tomanko Gift in Equator as they run away from us here to the walls of grandstand in the final hurdle, and it's Tomanko Gift leads by a half a length now from Equator Ernest Stavinsky running out the pack Swindy home going again but it's Tomanko Gift that leads him over the last it's Tomanko Gift by a length from Equator Swindy, Swindy home Ernest Stavinsky but it's going to be Tomanko Gift inside the final furlong it's Tomanko Gift by a length and a half to Equator Swindy home, here comes Swindy home Tomanko Gift needs the finish line but it's Tomanko Gift from Equator fighting back on Swindy home on the inside but it's Tomanko Gift, Tomanko Gift takes it from Equator I think behind the second Swindy Third. With, um, Mr. Thompson, Tomenko Gift, which I think was also a returning horse from last year. All done. And the Quater did hang on to second, a long time leader from Swindy home in third. I think Ernest Stavinsky got up for fourth for Paul Rose as well. He did. James Shea Swindy home was third, and Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith was fifth. So I think it's the first four that get to qualify. Good luck in the final if you go.